Hey everybody, Meteoric Turtle here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to get into some Ark the Lad Twilight of the Spirits. Last we left off, we had switched to Dark's story, and he had a pretty dark beginning. <laughs> He's basically a slave to a frog-looking person named Guido, and right now we're supposed to be going into town to pick up something... Let's head upstairs, talk to this ugly looking frog lady. What are you doing? Go over to Orkoth on the double and buy me some phoenix blood. That's what it is, phoenix blood. I get really nasty when I run out of that stuff. Alright, <clears throat> so is there anything else we could do here? Doesn't look like it. So let's go ahead and head out. Yes, let's head outside. Okay, so we need to go to Orkoth, which is over here. Church Ruins. That's where um, his father died. Let's head over that way. I don't think we can do anything over there now. But that's where we had that cutscene where his dad died. Beat all enemies, okay. Oh, the mushroom enemies, okay. Fungi. I think these guys can poison, maybe? I don't remember what type of... Okay, so he's just a very single target. Still wanna Slash him. <laughs> oh, nice block. What was that? So, okay. At this point, basically, we're just clawing him. That's fun. Die. Don't want to get surrounded, so I'm going to kind of attack this guy. Oh, is this the poison attack? Uh, spores, yeah. Looks like poison. Did it? Hopefully it missed. Nope. Can't tell if it missed or not. I don't see any sort of effect Which on my guy, so I have no idea. Uh, let's just go and take this guy out. Okay. One down. Two to go. <laughs> that effect is so weird. I can't tell if it's actually doing anything, though. Does that mean it missed? I don't... Or maybe it's speed down? I don't know what, what's going on there. It's not really giving me any indication. You'll regret that. Yeah, they will. Ooh, counter. Nice. Still was not enough to kill him though. Which path should I walk? Um uh, why is he going so slow? Die! Maybe it was a speed increase. Okay, so HP attack, hit increase, nice. A bit of a defense rise. You'll regret that. All right, this guy. Okay. Can I use this? Pick up the items. Some spirit stones. That's I don't all. think. I'm pretty sure for now, your inventory is separate. So whatever you have on, you know, one group of characters stays over there. I'm not sure if that combines at any point in the future or not, or. Yeah, I don't think it's shared ever, if I remember right. I'm not sure. It's been a long time. And this is where dear old daddy died. We will be coming back here several times throughout the game. Yep, okay. Several times throughout the game, so we'll see a lot of this place. It's very pretty. It's a pretty area. Ah, oh, the music. Love the music in this game. Alright, moving on. Yes, we have nothing to do here right now, so let's go ahead and move on to Orkoth. Entering Orkoth. Okay. Let's talk. Okay, nope, can't talk to that guy. Okay. 
What's that? What? Here comes a strange one. This should be fun, huh? Hmm. Yeah, what's fun? Are you that Hagito slave? What did you come here for? Why should I tell you? Oh, oh, snarky. Tut tut. Don't you recognize the great Delma, the fearful red devil of the Orkon tribe? No, I didn't. I like how the tail grows out of your shoulder blades. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, this is no place for someone like you. Go on home now. Why, you brazen little punk. You with your wings and all. Oh, I guess she wanted to have wings. What's up with her? I don't know, Dark. What is up with her? What's going on? Just says the Orkoth Dungeon. That's where we keep those who dare to oppose Stensimo. Maybe we ought to go ahead and toss you in there too, eh? Jeez, everyone's so hostile towards him. It's a good time to tell you that most of the Deimos don't really like Dark. Um, obviously, because he's half blood, half Deimos, half human, and it, and it really shows. So they're not big fans of his. Anyway, moving on. Korup, I am Korup, a Deimos merchant. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I don't sell goods. I sell the magic of healing. I can use the magic of the Korup to heal you completely. It's just what you need when you're tired after a fight. Nice. Tenji at a time. Sure, why not? Okay, don't forget. Core up and white hats are healers. Gotcha. But if it's good you're after, find a core up and a red hat. Okay. Hey, hey, can I talk to you? Did you want to do some shopping? Well, you can't now. Okay, there's a core up merchant who always has a store near here, but I haven't seen him yet. Core up here now only restores your strength. He doesn't sell items. Corp? The Corp are a rather odd species of Deimos. They aren't interested in anything but making money. Totally bizarre. So, like humans. <laughs> According to rumor, they actually eat money. Okay, that's weird. To tell you the truth, I don't know much about them. Okay. Alrighty then. Although I can tell you that there's one in every Deimos village that's convenient, don't you think? Yeah, that is pretty convenient. That almost sounds like uh, they did that for game mechanic. This is where Gorma lives. Gorma is a very important sage. Said to have been around since the first days of the Orkon. He's not home right now, though. He said he was going to ask Densimo's opinion about something. Okay. So... Probably gonna have to go talk to Densimo. It's interesting, like an old cable car. It's very interesting. I wonder, like, what the history of this place is. I wonder if we'll find out in this game. Uh, what? Don't interrupt me. Can't you see I'm working on a good roar here? Is that what you're doing? Okay. We're just going to leave him to that. I'm telling you, you're going about this all wrong. There may be a tradition of eating them to increase one's strength, but we have no idea to what extent, that, at what extent that's true. Besides, if one were to raise them properly, we would be able to cross the sea and fly to other continents. We Orkon have always longed for the sky, and now it could be ours. But you, you're not thinking of anything but how to make yourself stronger. I can't imagine leaving the future of the Orkon race in the hands of someone like that. Tensimo says, oh shut up, you just won't quit will you? He looks like the Orkon Elvis. <laughs> I don't care if you are the oldest one here. I don't need any sissified geezer bossing me around. Yeah, you tell him, you muscle-bound idiot. Listen, I won't stand for any more of your stupid chatter, old man. How about if I smash in those ridiculous long horns of yours? I, I beg your pardon? What? This guy's cray-cray. 
Don't challenge me. It's been ages since you were our leader. Hey, hey that's enough, Denzimo. That's not how you treat your elders, young man. Tell me, Gorma, who's the strongest Orcon now, eh? Me, that's who, Densimo. And who's in charge of Orkarth, Orkoth, huh? That would be me. And who can give orders to the mighty Densimo? No one. Right, gotcha. I do as I please. My life is my own. I won't be pushed around by anyone. I'll rip apart anyone who gets in my way. A very pleasant guy. Okay. Don't know if I want to talk to him now, but whatever. Let's see. What's up, Densimo? Who do you think you are? You and your human-looking face. When I see a human, it just makes me want to knock their heads off. Now get lost, if you'd like being alive, that is. This guy is very pleasant. Alright. Let's cop a save real quick. Because why not? Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, look at that. Even that's in a cable car. What is going on here? Is this place supposed to be like... After the fall of mankind or something? Like... Well, I guess they did say in the beginning it was a little bit. That's still so cool. I like to see kind of more modern technology stuff being repurposed. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. Alright, moving on. Um, okay, we already did all that though. Whatever. So let's go talk to Gormo. The mistake of a lifetime. I should never have given up my post to that savage brute. Why won't he see the possibilities Furbles have to offer? Alright. What's up, man? You caring about Furbles? Hmm? Aren't you? Yeah, Skeeto Servant. Uh. Dark. Yes, that was it. So, Dark, what can I do for you? Let's ask about Densimo first. Densimo became the Orcothian leader after me. He used to be an influential and hardworking Orcon. As my right-hand man, he did his best in many ways. Now, though, he's rude and violent and too much of a handful for anybody. Densimo, the leader? But how? It's all because the humans started stealing spirit zones from within Demos territory. He saw Demos after Demos fall at the hands of humans and their mighty weapons. He probably felt that we Demos needed a great weapon, great power, to match human weapons in battle. That's why he keeps seeking out this power, you see. I suppose he's a victim too. A victim of the humans. Do you have something else to ask me? Uh, let's ask about Delma. Oh-ho, so you've met Delma. Met her? No, she just sort of talked at me. <laughs> now that's a rarity. She hardly ever concerns herself with outsiders. Come to think of it, you could say she's awfully shy. She talks and acts tough to hide that part of her, but... Say, maybe she likes you. Hmm, maybe she does. Oh, I don't think so. Ah, but I know everything there is to know about that girl. I've been sort of like a father to her anyhow. Then, what about her parents? They were killed by humans right after she was born. I've raised Delma and Densimo ever since. Oh, so he, Densimo was like a son to you, and now he's being a jerk. Okay, I see. Do you have something else to ask me? Uh, I'll ask about him. Me? I'm just an old fogey. Everyone calls me the sage that's been around since Orkoth was first settled. I was the leader of Orkoth once upon a time. A Deimos can only be respected for his or her power. Or so the rule goes. And I'm satisfied with that. Do you have something else to ask me? Uh, what about Furbles, ma'am? You know about Furbles? Well, just what you mumbled. You're smarter than you look, no offense. <laughs> Furbles seem to be a stage in the life cycle of Pyrons. 
also known as the Heroes of the Sky. Pyrons. What, you don't know what Pyrons are? Pyrons are monsters with fire inside of them. They can fly across oceans, over mountains. Okay, so they're basically dragons, all right. And complete a thousand mile journey in a single night. That is pretty fast. All according to some research I've been doing. Furbles can be found here on Aldro and look like white lizards. Okay. There seems to be a way to raise furbles into their adult form, pyrons. Furbles into pyrons. Then again, you have wings, so it's probably no big deal to you. But we Orcon don't have wings. We really want furbles so we can fly. Well, all except for that Densimo who eats the damn things. Of course he does. What happens when you eat a furball? According to one theory, they can give you tremendous strength. I don't know how much that's true. It's got to be far better to raise them into pyrons instead. Do you have something else to ask me? Uh, I think we're good. Ah oh, well. If you think of something else to ask, come again. Alright. So that was a nice bit of lore download. Um... I'm not really sure. We can't do anything with him. Uh, so no reason that Damos won't be like you should be. Anywhere. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Ah, oh, here's the red hat guy. Welcome. What would you like? What the? Aren't you the slave who works for that old bag, Guido? I have nothing to sell a Damos wannabe. Or should I sell you some human equipment? If you are a Damos, you look awfully weak. <laughs> like I would need that. I'm a Deimos. Yeah, man, you tell him. I have enough money, so hand over some Phoenix blood. Oh, so Guido's thirsty for Phoenix blood again, eh? If she keeps on drinking that stuff, she'll find her way to an early grave, all right. It hypes you up in the short term, but if you make it a habit of it, it ends up having the opposite effect. Oh, okay. But that girl doesn't look like she'd die even if you killed her. Um, okay. So how? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy, and buy a healing herb. Okay. Quit. That's the last of my phoenix blood. Careful that it doesn't get stolen on your way back. Hehe. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Oh. Look who it is. Zoram. Hey, Zigolo. Look at that. Zigolo and Zoram. Okay. Some human -y thing has found its way into our territory. Th that's Guido's slave. His name is Dark, I think. Hey there. You think it's right? That a Deimos wannabe like you can just toddle around Orkoth at will? I'm a Deimos. Now get out of my way. Did you hear that, Zuggalo? He thinks he's a Deimos. <laughs> That's what he said, all right. And and then he told us to get out of his way. <laughs> Pretty funny, don't you think? This human, this wannabe Deimos is ordering around the real thing. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> we'll get out of your way, all right. As long as you give us what you bought from that Quirup. What? Not too bright, are you, kid? What are you looking for, a fight? If you say you're a Deimos, how about some proof? L let's have a little talk. Come on, let's do it. Uh-oh. This don't look good. What kind of walk is that guy doing? It's like he was tiptoeing or something. Hey, check it out. Zoram and Zuggler are really going to town. Idiot, you're gonna wake up Densimo. Be quiet. Don't worry about it. Once Densimo's asleep, he's pretty hard to wake up. 
Now come on, we've got to see this. What do you, what do you mean? Like you're just staying there. What? Uh, are you ready, you Deimos wannabe? Sure. Well, if you give us what we want, we won't kill you, you know. Just hand it over. Shut up, Zoram. I'll kill you all. Okay. This is a fight I'm not 100% sure I can win. But... Let's smash him! Too slow. Too slow. Okay, he sounds Which like a, should I walk? A, a, someone who's been smoking for 40 years. Which path should I walk? <laughs> Too slow. Look at him, he's so raspy. Too slow. I'm just gonna pick on Zoram for now. Next time you're dead. You dare hit me. What the king that? of the Davos. Take this! Oh that's all. Poor Zoram. Yes, we are stronger. More health, more attack. What was that? <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop doing Stay it. Out. Still wanna fight? Too slow. Too slow. I can't help it. <laughs> Take this. Okay. I thought this fight was gonna be a lot harder. It's not too bad. How's that? Oh, there we go. Okay. I thought that was gonna be a bit harder. Not that bad at all. Well, do we prove ourselves as a Deimos? So now that I've won, you have nothing to say. Hey, not bad. I see you in a whole new light now. Say, would you want to join up with my brother, maybe? That's him, sleeping over there. My brother, Densimo. You two are brother and sister? He's gathering up some strong allies to chase the humans out. Sorry, but I'm not interested. Why not? Don't you hate humans? They're stealing our spirit stones right from under our noses. Spirit stones? That's right. Spirit stones are life itself for us, Stamos. Without them, we can't even use magic properly. Basically, if we don't have spirit stones, we can't go on living. We won't stand for humans just waltzing away with such precious sources of magical power. Don't you agree? I mean, probably. Together we can drive out the humans before they steal any more of them. Okay. Sorry. I have to get this Phoenix Blood back to Guido. Bah! Here I thought you were ready and re ready and raring to go. My mistake. I guess you're just a Deimos wannabe after, long. after all. So long. No. I'm not. I'm not a wannabe. I'm a real Deimos. I'm a real boy. All right, let's go ahead and save real quick. Uh, or yes, that would be nice. All right, and let's get this back to Guido. I don't think anything's going to get in our way now. Nope. Heading straight outside. Okay. So let's see. Doesn't really matter. Guido's house. We're probably going to get into battle. Oh, nope. That's how we need to get into battle. Yes. Alright, Guido. I got your phoenix blood. Now stop being so mean to me. You old lady. Why don't you take this collar off me too while you're at it. Yo, what up, frog face? Where have you been? Taking a leisurely stroll somewhere. Yep. Kicking some ace. I've been waiting forever for you to get back here. Sorry, 
just <laughs> looks like she's with sound. You bought the Phoenix blood, right? Yes, I bought your Phoenix blood. Yes, but the corpse said you shouldn't drink too much of it. He said it would lead you to an early grave. What's that? An early grave, eh? Maybe you shouldn't go overboard, that's all. Nothing to say about that, huh? You just mind your own business, because I'm addicted to this stuff. You don't have to say everything that pops into your tiny head. But, well, maybe I should stop drinking it. After all, think of how the world would mourn the passing of such peerless beauty. <laughs> Oh man, oh, if you were a beauty, oh my god, I hate to see the beast. <laughs> there we go. Say, have you heard about furbles? Yes. Then I'll sum it up. Furbles, furbles are incredibly rare monsters. Rare because those damn Orcon are just crazy about them. Do you know what that means? No. No. Those stinking Orcon will shell out any amount of money for a furball. No matter what the cost. <laughs> what did the Orcon do with furballs? How should I know? Ask them yourself. You should worry more about catching those furballs before they do. Got it. Got it. Then stop slouching around and get out there. Oh, frog face one of these days. You're gonna go to sleep. And I'm gonna come into your room and smother you with kisses. You're so adorable. Oh, uh, let's see, before we go hunting furballs, I am gonna save, and I think we're gonna save that verbal expedition for next episode. So until then, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.